Hi Raju Pi people, it's the average man here. Uh, I've not done a video for a while, so here we are, 2015, and this one is about the Short Crust Plus. Uh, this is a new case from PySupply.com. It's for your model B Plus Raju Pi. And you might remember the original Short Crust. So let me show you that first. So the original Short Crust, where is it? Here it is. Was this one here, very popular for the Model A and Model B Raju Pi, the original Pi size sizes. And uh, this one was very popular for two reasons, for my eyes anyway. It had the kind of nice tinted front, which is good. You can kind of see lights underneath, had a classy look about it, good for media centers. Uh, but the main thing that I was interested in when I got this case was the power was rerouted by a little ball in, inside, which is really good. So it was popular, and the new Pi's come out, so they've released a new version. So here it is. So box-wise, it comes in two pieces. You've got the main base and you've got the top section here as well. Um, and they've kind of gone the whole hog this time. Real professional boxes. Really nicely done. Beats the old uh, white box with a sticker on that you normally get in the pie scene. And you've got the instructions on the back as well that show you exactly what to do. So that's what we're going to do now. And I'm going to show you how it all goes together. So that's the boxes. The case itself. You get the main base section. You get an extension section. Interesting. I'll come to that in a moment. And you get the tinted top. So sticking with the original design, stay with what works. Okay, so here's your B plus Raspberry Pi. Let's move these parts over here for now. Okay, so the idea of this case is you put your SD card in, in here, and normally cases will give you access to that so you can change it out. This one doesn't, and you might be thinking, oh, that's a bad thing. It actually isn't, because it's so easy to take the Pi in and out. It actually offers you the same kind of, okay, I guess, ease of changing your SD card, but without the possibility of kind of breaking it, that kind of thing. So to put your Pi in, you just put the little audio connection through there and then clip it in. And then to release it, you just pull this tab. And that's just really handy, so that comes again. So I like that, that's good, it's clean. Um, I think these are great for media centers, so I think that's a nice clean way of doing it. So okay, that's the base there. Now, this part, you might be wondering what this is for, because what we could do is just attach the top section. I'll show you now and have something that looks very much like the original. Again, there we go, put the right way around. And you'd have your kind of short crust for your new B+. However, there's a reason behind this extension section. Let me just take this off and I'll try not to break it because we're going to give this away at the end as well. So keep, well, stay tuned. Let's just take this off. There we go. Didn't break it, good news. Okay. This section, let's say you had a unicorn hat from uh, Primarily, someone like that, or some kind of add-on board, maybe even a Protocam or Protopal. Uh, check out my blog if you want to know what they're about. You could add this section here. Now that just clips on. And then the lid would then clip onto that. And it gives you a bit of extra room, which is really handy. And also handy because if you're, you've are you got options here to mount it with screws rather than just using kind of rubber pads. So, yeah, that adds a bit of flexibility there. You can get spares, I believe. The, the, the kit itself comes with one. Um, if you contact Pysop, I'm sure they'll do more if you want to need a bit more height. Depends what kind of project you're doing. But let's take that off for now. Actually, let's leave that one on. I'll show you another one anyway. So, just like the original, you've got a kind of tinted section. So there you go. It's up against the camera. So, any lights or anything underneath. Again, unicorn hat, something like that you'd be able to see from underneath. And this, again, uses these tabs. It's all kind of almost stackable. Um, this goes on top here. There we go. And so that is the extended version like that. Again, I like the way it really does match the original. It's a really nice touch. I like what I've done there. So I mentioned there's a black version. And here it is. So exactly the same thing again. Uh, your pie would be inside. Clip that section on there. And then the tinted top. Now this is my preference. I like that. That is smooth. That's good for a media centre. That's good for matching your skybox. Um, you know, underneath your TV. That's what I'm going to be using it for. And I like the way you might notice the even the rubber legs on the bottom. For the white one, they've got white ones. And for the black case, they've got black legs. Nice touch. Good attention to detail. And um, you've got a breathing holes there. If you're one of these people that worry about the temperature of your pie, you're covered as well. So that is the new Short Crust Plus from PiesPie.com. That's only $8.99. They've got the cost right down this time. I think it's a really good deal. Um, and if you want to win one, it's a really good deal. Uh, head over to AverageManVersusRaspberryPie.com. The blog post that's going to accompany this video 
Uh, that's going to have a competition. Anyone who's subscribed when I run the competition in a couple of weeks' time will be able to win this one here, which is the original white with black top. Um, all you need to be if you're a subscriber, I've got your email address. I'll pick one at random and you win. So head on over to averagemanversarajpie.com. If you'd rather get one straight away and you want to buy one, it's piesupply.com and that's $8.99. Thank you.